Hey Aquarius, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a general reading for their true feelings and intentions towards you. Um, now this is for now until the end of November and Aquarius, I want to remind you guys that these readings are general. So that means that they may or may not resonate with every single Aquarius out there. I just wanted to make that perfectly clear, okay? We're gonna go ahead and jump right on into the reading. Now I'm gonna read this person's true, ten uh, true feelings and intentions towards you now until the end of November. Um, however, right after I do that portion, I'm going to see if there's anything new coming in for those of you who aren't connected to anybody at this point in time. Uh, let's go ahead and begin. And Aquarius, I do have personals open for anyone who's interested. The details are below. Ten of Wands energy. Somebody's feeling exhausted with something here, okay? This can represent like a burden or um, it doesn't have to mean that they're seeing the connection as a burden, but they could be seeing it as a lot of work at this point in time. This could be somebody who has Saturn in Sagittarius or you might have Saturn in Sagittarius, but that's the energy here. Someone also may feel as if it's like taking a while to get this thing off the ground to get things moving. Now, I do feel for some of you Aquarius, there is a person here who is... Um, I don't know how to describe it. There's, there's a lot that they're trying to get in order and they're feeling like it's moving so slowly. But what it is, is they're wanting to move things forward with you. But some other area of their life, they feel like it's got to be in order before they can do that. So there is a frustration here. There's a frustration here. Let's see. Yeah, the devil is showing up. They feel restricted. Another Saturn card. We have Capricorn energy with that one. But they're feeling very restricted. Some of you, this person, they may see this as a toxic connection. If there's a lot of fighting or a lot of back and forth, a lot of bickering, a lot of disagreements about what responsibility and what blame goes where, if there's a lot of stuff like that going on, they're definitely seeing this connection as toxic. But for those of you where this is just a normal connection, I'm feeling like a frustration with things not moving forward. Yeah, Nine of Swords with things not moving forward. Let's see their intentions. Somebody might have Mars and Gemini here. There's an internal battle with that energy that just showed up. Six of Cups. Okay, some of you here, Aquarius, there's, if, if you're in one of those toxic connections that are very back and forth, there's a lot of fighting, there's a breakup, makeup type of energy between you two, um, like an in and out type of vibe, only for those of you where that part resonates, somebody may be dealing with someone else. And this could, this could obviously be you, but whoever it is, it's someone they've dealt with before, okay? With the Six of Cups energy, that's the past. So somebody may be like wanting to go back to the past or wanting to go back to the way that things were. Um, that's the type of energy that I'm feeling. Somebody wanting to leave that connect, leave the connection behind. If there's a lot of fighting, bickering, arguing, things like that. Let's see what else we have, though, on the other end. What's on the other end of that? Okay. And for those of you where we had the opposite, where a person's trying to get something on, in order, um, we had the King of Pentacles here. This is a commitment. This could be a Taurus for some of you. This is like somebody who is very committal, life, life partner type of energy. The Sun, Leo energy. But I am feeling like, again, they have this perfectionist type of vibe. You're going to know if that's for you. You're going to know what type of person you're dealing with. You know what type of connection you're dealing with. So you can fill in the blanks as far as that goes. This person here. They're wanting to move the connection forward, but they're frustrated because they feel like there's something else that has to be put in order. So I do feel like there needs to be a discussion about that, you know, because it's never going to be the perfect time, right? So let's see if there's anything new coming in. Anything new for Aquarius? One sec. Nine of Swords in the reverse position, okay? So you're dropping some sort of stress. You're, you're making a decision is how this is feeling, okay? Or someone else. But those of you, again, it keeps repeating, going back to that toxic connection there because that Nine of Swords showed up in the upright position and it can often represent like an internal battle, something that is stressful. It's showing up in the reverse. So one of you are going to decide like this is enough. We got to cut it out. This is enough. Um, so one of you are going to decide that. But I do feel that for some, there's a person coming towards you who's just gotten out of something or they've just wrapped something up. One second, I'm dropping stuff again. <laughs> We have the Ace of Pentacles showing up here. Earth, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Yeah, and I feel like this person could actually be somebody who has genuine, like they have genuine energy, long-term commitment type of energy. However, I feel like things could move a little bit slowly because of whatever it is that they've just wrapped up. They have a lot to work through or you have a lot to work through because there's something that you've just wrapped up. So craziness, Aquarius. This is the craziest one of the love readings so far and I only have water signs left. So that's what I'm saying. I hope this was helpful. There are details below for anybody who's interested in personals, Instagram, Patreon. But if this is where we part, thank Thank you for watching this far. I really appreciate you and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.